All right, my friends, we are in second place. Now, Ozed has a game in hand and is two points behind us, but we're in second place, and we're going to talk more about escapism today, but it doesn't have anything to do with politics, so you might actually stay tuned for that. <laughs> My friends, this is going to be a weird plug for our Discord community, but hear me out. So the Discord link, if you don't know what Discord is, it's like a big chat room with various rooms for various topics. So we've got a general chat, we've got a Liverpool chat, we've got a Formula One chat, we've got a talking about your own football manager save chat. And so there's this community of people that hang out and it's really cool because it's like live and like you can go back and see the messages and reply to people and all that kind of stuff. I, I highly recommend, especially during these lockdown times where like, life sucks let's be honest um so by the time you're seeing this this is several episodes into uh several days into the future from when i'm recording it so right now if you're in the discord you would know all of this but now you're seeing since you're watching this video you're seeing it a little bit later does that make sense so the stuff going on inside my head so i've been to the doctor um and i don't know why i feel in, in compelled to share this with the internet because it can never be deleted but because I've talked about it, I want to share. So I've been to the doctor. Um, my hearing is fine, so that's good. He's prescribed me a steroid because he thinks in this ear there is some swelling along the inner ear nerve or one of the inner ear nerves, which is causing my balance issues, which is pretty similar to something I experienced about 18 months ago when I went to the same doctor. However, the fact that it's come back is somewhat concerning. So I have two things scheduled. One thing later today. So this is the escapism. I'm filling my brain up with stuff so that I don't have to think about it. Um, one thing is a test where like it essentially isolates the various aspects of your balance system. I'm assuming that means like your eyes versus your ears versus your neck position. I don't know. And that can help figure out if there's only one part of that system that's malfunctioning or a different part or all the parts or something like that. So I'm going in to do that in about 30 minutes. Um, hopefully we'll be done recording by the time that happens. And on top of that, tomorrow I get to go in and have a brain MRI, which is only completely terrifying. Not slightly, it's completely terrifying because, you know, the fear of the unknown. And, you know, anytime they're like, hey, we're going to inject some stuff into you so that your brain lights up. One, we'll find out if I have one. And two, we'll find out if my brain has any tiny little friends that it shouldn't have. Or if it's just something like, I, I get it. Like, logically, I get it. They're like, well, you know, when I look in your ear with the little thingy, your ears look healthy. So to get any further, we have to like use some sort of imaging. It's just never good, right? Like when you go have an MRI in your brain, that's, that's never good. Like it's, those things don't just happen because like, oh, well, let's just check it out. Like it's, it's for a purpose. So I'm trying not to think about that purpose. So just want to give an update. Um, but if you're interested in getting live updates about my health, you can join the discord and other things, not just my health, but you know, we, we sit there and chat. It's very comforting. Um, so yeah, it's a good time. Um, let's look at the results, shall we? Because distraction, um, I honestly don't even remember where the last time you were, uh, we beat Vitesse 2 nil. We beat NEC 3 nil. Barack getting a brace. We beat Zvol 4-2. Kind of one of those things where I was like, wow, we scored four goals in the first half. If they came back and scored two, I was uh, like, 4-1, I'm like, we're rotating. And then uh, we, we took a little minute to, to rotate, but quite, quite good. So lots of goal scores from what Veldman gets. I thought it was, yeah, his first goal of the season on zero expected goal. So good job to him. Vulet gets a goal. Rottier, my friends, is on a seven. You can't see this. I guess I could show you this way. He's on a 7-2-2 two, two in his last five. Look at this. Goal, assist, goal, nothing. Brace, nothing. Goal, uh, brace and a goal. Okay, let's go back to October. But like, you know, it's been good. Shaq picked up a goal. Carranza got a 79 minute hat trick. Um, speaking, look at this. He's got, I can't believe he's got, surely this is rounding error, right? Six expected goal, but 12 goals is insane. If you ask me, he's on a 7.3. He's worth six and a quarter. You'll notice his contract is at 16 grand. You'll notice that we just signed that contract two days ago. Here's why. Wait, wait. Boca came in and wanted to offer us 
almost 13 million with a 20%. And he wanted to go because he said, it's a dream of every player to play in the Copa Libertadores. And I said, I can't, there was several, it took several options to get to this. It was like, hey, what's it going to take to get you to stay here? And he's like, I want to be on a team that's going to win the title. And that's not going to happen here anytime soon. And like the options were all bad, right? It's like, well, we brought in some youth players, give them a chance. And he's like, of course he's gonna be like, no, like go away. Um, but I was like, hey, what, what would a pay rise entice you to stay? And he was like, yeah, but it's going to have to be substantial. I was like, what's substantial? He said 16. I was like, done. We're going to, we're paying um, Kishna that, right? Or something like that. Where'd, where'd Kishna go? Yeah, well, it hasn't gone in yet. Oh, no, Kishna. He, remember, he wanted 16. And then I waited. And now he's come back to accept nine. I forgot to tell you that. So. Yeah, his, his his demands have dropped a little bit. And I yeah, of course, I went ahead and signed him because, because I'm a sucker, okay? But the good news is, Karanz is happy and, like, literally, what is it? That was the day, like, we'd already offered him the contract at this point. So he's got it sitting on his agent's desk and he's getting ready to sign it. And he comes out and bangs in three goals to be like, I'm committed. And I just love that. Let's go. We're taking on EVV. Um... Any upsets? Well, these are all in the midst of being played. Currently, NEC overhead of PSV. Wow. Wow. Villem twice smashing Venlo. Goodness me. It's been... That's at the half, right? It's 2045 up here. This is at 1930. So at half... At the half. They, oh, that's disgusting. Um, let's do the same thing ourselves. Why would we play balanced? Someone explain this. So we've done a heavy rotation. This is, you know, you could argue risky. But Stassen needs more game time. So he's... Come, oh, look at Stassen. Look at this. Look at this. Get dead, son. He's going to be good. Um, Kishna, because we've, you know, continued to have to give him minutes, and this is his favorite position, so it gives him an opportunity to shine. Rigo comes in for his second start, or third start, if you include the cup game of the season. Um, Van der Arend, who's dropping because he's not playing, so I should probably loan him out. I was trying to get him some game time, but it's not really worked out that way. Um, Shaq and Vulik in the middle. Veldman coming in. Castillo got a goal or an assist recently. It was lovely. Um, on a 7-2-5 thus far in the season with three starts and three subs with the one assist. Nolt's bad son, and his crossing is only 11. It was good. Uh, Ventholt and Bayern, again, kind of holding down the back line. And then Killian Nakemia is going to take over. Not take over, but like we're kind of preparing for next season for him to be our starting goalkeeper potentially. So there you go, my friends. So can we get something done today? Can, can we? Can we? I mean... This is more for us as a community to see some of those youngsters and hopefully see them shine, right? I want to see Stassen do well. I want to see our wingbacks do well. I want to see uh, the right winger do well. Um, go out there and make sure that there's no doubt why we're amazing. Again, Shaq is kind of playing. I think I said last time he was playing the um, the Henderson like captain role. He's more of the Milder to me. Um, we're always motivated. <laughs> yeah. We just changed tactical scouts because it's more aggressive. They have no form because they don't really exist in the game. So that's a that's a thing that happens. We're just going to do key highlights. But I kind of look at Shaq as being that guy. I mean, he's not Milner Sage, obviously. But the guy who, he can play a bunch of positions. He's been a starter for a long time. And he's like, listen, I know we got a bunch of youngsters in here, boys. But, like, we need to come out swinging. We're going to go actually attacking and send a message. Buy-in kind of doing the same thing in the back line, right? Being that, that, uh veteran in our system he doesn't have to be you don't have to be over 30 to be a veteran in our system but he's the veteran in the system kind of like calming everybody down um so that's kind of how i think mean, obviously kishna can yell at all the attack and we we have we have an experienced player at all three levels of the uh the team so they can point and yell and vulik it's not like vulik is inexperienced right so he can also kind of help out this is how my brain works stassen oh that looks good just wide but he was in a good position Okay, boys. Wow, this is going to be apparently lots of highlights. Just one second. Sorry, I was just making sure that wasn't an urgent call. I didn't even get to see the highlight because I was trying to fiddle with everything and stop the recording. Okay, we we haven't really, you know, I don't know. I, I think I want too much sometimes from games where you clearly outmatch the opponent. Like, again, I know I talk about Liverpool a lot, but Liverpool versus Aston Villa's under-19s or whatever it was. And it's like, boys, it's been 20 minutes and it's nil nil or one nil or one nil right like this is not good enough and then at the halftime it's one all and you're like come on i mean you're anticipating them running out of gas eventually but it's just not like you want to come in and look like 
Kind of like we did the other game, right, that I showed you where we smashed them in the first half. And you're like, okay, it's it's 4-2 at half. Could be better, but, like, we've sent the message. We could score four. We're going to score some more. Um, instead, we're going to have to 25th minute. Ooh, wait for it. I was gonna, I'm going to wait to the 25th minute. I'm going to give them more than half the first half before I demand more of them. Shaq, okay, Vulich, trying to pick out a pass. He picks out Rigo, oh, over the shoulder. Hold on. Life is crazy, I never get calls. Here we go, still nil-nil. Just, you know, making sure it's not like a doctor's office calling me or something like that. Not to talk about it, we're not gonna talk about it. We're gonna, we're gonna ignore that. It's definitely, definitely something to not worry about. Kishna. Come on, Ricardo, do something. Make me smile. Veldman, do, do, get it to Kishna. Oh, oh, he heads it down. That was a tap in, essentially, for Dante Rigo. But it was, you know, kind of bouncing up on him. He could have sent it over the bar. First goal of the season. You get the nerves, right? You're not in the flow, but instead he just casually tap. Was it bouncing? Maybe I'm giving him too much credit. Yes, get in. Get in. Nice. We'll take it. Come on, Vanda Arend. You're only on a 6.8, son. Kishna just lets... Stumpin? Is the guy who's named Stumpin? Strumpin. Not as good as Stumpin. Strumpin. Take the ball away from him. But he's like, I had a plan. I was going to track back with my six tackling and do that. And then with my 12 dribbling, give it right back up. It's all part... It's all going to plan. It's all... It's all part... It... Okay, they don't really have anybody forward to pass the ball in the middle of the park, but what about the winger? Now they got two running. Oh, okay, plays it back. Okay, we, we've, we forced them to reset. They're probing, but they don't... Oh, dear, Ventholt makes a terrible mistake. But oh my goodness, what is the keeper doing, son? Pick it up with your hands. You, you can use them. Like, dive a little bit, like, jump on it. Like, ooh, dearie me, that was nervy. Vandoren says, I hear you, boss, because he ran right past me. And, and tries to take a crack at it. Can't blame him. As does Stas and he gets it back. Oh, I thought he was going to dribble in Kishna. Oh. <laughs> oh, that goalkeeping was a little... How did it go to a 6.8? Someone explain that to me. That wasn't 6.8. That, that didn't earn him a point one because he was on a 6.7. That... Mm. I mean, he almost tripped over the ball into the net. I'm just saying. Like, that's what it looked like to me. We're, we're, they're running us ragged here, folks. Like, we gotta do something. Kishna's not gonna get to that. I mean, he's just, like, running... He's like in a, he's in a washing machine right now. Kishna can't find the ball. He gets some help, though. Okay, reforce him to push it back. Okay, makes a mistake. Stas him with a little bit of pressure. It wasn't a lot... Oh, oh, Kishna. Was that really... I thought, I thought that would deserve a review, to be honest with you. Uh, we're going to give it to Kishta. He earned it, and, I mean, goodness me, he's... Yeah, his composure is higher, finishing is higher, penalties is one less. He's going to miss it now that I've done all that. Now that I've shown you that, he's going to miss. But he earned it, and we're trying to make him happy. But he earned it. Keeper doesn't even move. Doesn't even try. Come on. That would f infuriate me if I was the manager. I mean, I guess maybe you're trying to see where they're going to go. Maybe they're going to go down the middle, but, like, how often does that happen? Fifth goal of the season. Definitely no favoritism. I mean, that was, you know, he's better than Shaq. I pro should have adjusted the penalty taker, so it's fine. I'm not showing... It's not like I put my goalkeeper in, Pekka. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Okay, if that striker had been paying attention, he would have nipped that away from Castillo. Gets it to Bayern. Kishna. Ricardo. Ricardo. Is he going to go down again? Oh, that's not going to be a penalty. That's not... Oh, I, I thought that was going to be a, we're going to review it, but no whistle. Yeah, that was, that was a little Salah-esque. Like, he went down a little easy there. But Velman's like, I got you, brother. I'm going to zip one in here. No, I'm not. But he is. And, oh, Van Der Rind, I really want him to get get going. I'm really wanting Van Der Rind to do something. I mean, he's on a 7.0. Okay. But, like, I want to get him a goal. Get the young lad. We're on 3-4-4 from an XG. We have a clear-cut chance, which was the penalty of two half chances. Not a bad half. Not a bad half. Um, I'm very happy. Let's be positive. Chill out. Jeez. It's 2-0. It's raining. We're away from home. Can we do a Tottenham Marine and finish it 5-0? I mean, I... I am... Uh, uh, 
I'm going to demand more. It is just two to... Oh, they didn't like that. Castillo goes and picks up a yellow immediately. But no worries. It's our highlight. Veldman. Kishna. Oh, top of the box. That was beautiful. Needed more power on it. If he puts that into the upper part of the corner rather than to the lower middle side, I think Nabur's there doesn't get to that. Anybody familiar? Those of you for my Netherlands viewers, because there are several in the comments. Hi. Um, are you familiar with EVV? Are they actually two levels down? Because I, I see all the different league names, and I assume if you're not in the the, the one with the K, the two Ks and then the Divisi, hello, Milos Vulic. And I'm assuming it's like maybe there's a level down and there's like multiples, or the, is it like third and fourth? It's kind of hard to tell inside a football manager, but we've smacked one home from distance, people. 3-0. Since I didn't really get to see that, let's look at a second goal of the season. Good layoff from Kishna. Boom. I mean, that's... He put he put his foot through it. He put his foot through it. Is there anybody we need to take off or bring on? We could take off Kishna. Stassen can... No, 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 no. Where can Stassen go? He could play inside forward. That's fine. We'll take Kishna off. Because we don't, don't want him to get hurt. Andrade is complacent, but, you know, he's going to come in, as you do. We'll rest uh, Vulic and bring in El Caricha, who no one wants to loan. And now he's, like, in the promise section, it's saying, was expecting more to be done to get him a loan. And I'm like, like what do you want me to do, brother? No, like, I've, I've offered him out for zero everything. No squad status required. And no one has come calling. We're going to have to try and send him back to Dortrecht. But Dortrecht doesn't want to... Uh, he doesn't want to go to Dortrecht because they didn't use him last time. So I'm like... I, I have a feeling we're going to end up selling El Carici in the in the January window. Because because of that. Because he's going to get mad about the promise. Come back. No one wanted you. Um. Well done. We'll take it. We'll take it. Again, you might be like, really? You recorded episode three? It was like, but you know, we got to see some of the youngsters. We didn't get see, to see... The, the right winger score, so that's a little bit disappointing. Any upsets? NEC beat PSV. Upset City. Willem Twaith, 7-3. That's really the only upset, right? The the PSV game. Goodness me. All right, my friends. I'm guessing the draw is right about to happen. I'll check. IX beat Hark Harkamasi Boys, 9-0. Feyenoord beats Fatest, 3-0. Not unexpected. Here's the draw. Let's just draw all the teams. Nak Breda, we will take it. It's not Ajax. As long as it's not Ajax, I'm good. All right, my friends. I don't know why I'm going to show you. Green and yellow derby again tomorrow, but we're hosting, so that's good. I hit browse. It'd be nice if it would just get me to the schedule. That will be the next game, my friends. We're going to take on Nak Breda in the Dutch Cup third round, and then... Ooh, if Groningen is still in sixth, we will see if we can, if they're still up near there, we'll see if we can get revenge in that game. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. If you're interested in joining the uh, the GHD Discord community, the link is in the description. If you're interested in supporting the channel, you can become a channel member by going to the channel page and hitting join or to going, Patre going to patreon.com slash Gaming. The names that are about to pop up here on the next screen are all the people that support me. I really appreciate it. My goal is to get to 60 this month. We're currently at 57. We'll see you soon. Thanks.